While living this new reality is incredibly surreal and painful, I'm left wondering if we were ever really compatible. Certainly, there were issues pre-affair, and we avoided them, which was has ultimately led us to this place. But now I am left questioning if there is an us or was an us. How do you begin to sift through the wreckage after an affair and determine the value of what was lost? Sure, there's love. But in the wake of this, is that uh, to be valued over compatibility? I'll still say the best marriages I know are marriages that recovered from an affair. Partly because they learned how to do a relationship very, very differently. I don't know that what was is any prediction of what will be. I mean, to me, you never know the end of the story by the beginning. Hopefully, you both experience as you go through the EMS online course, revelation about things in yourself that weren't necessarily healthy. That's again, where the groups are incredibly helpful. Being able to be around other people allows you to see yourself in ways that you weren't able to see before. In terms of determining the value, in my note here, it looks like you in particular are very early on in the process. Part of this course is about examining, you know, what is the cost? What did it cost? What's the lost value? And in the long run, I hope you'll be able to use this horrible thing as a catalyst for transformation, not only of yourselves, but of the relationship that you transcend the shame and the anger and the bitterness and move to a place of love and appreciation and gratitude. Compatibility to me is a very uh, fluid thing. After being married 45 years, I can tell you that compatibility is not a marriage make. <laughs> it's something that waxes and wanes over time. There'll be times you're more compatible, times you're less compatible. But learning to be a mature, wise adult Interacting with another mature, wise adult will be the thing that is going to make a solid relationship. It's not going to be about compatibility. It's going to be about learning to love well. If you make that your goal to become a person you can really respect, if your mate makes that their goal, you guys will have a great relationship. But you have to take care of your side of the street and hopefully they'll be convicted to take care of their side of the street. That's how great marriages are made.